Greetings, thinkers and lovers of literature. It's Robert N. Jacobs here, your host at Thinkers Books, extending a warm welcome to everyone tuning in for another enriching discussion on a transformative piece of literature. Today we're diving into a book that's not just a book, it's a journey, a journey that holds the potential to overhaul the way we perceive and engage with our existence. Mindfulness in Plain English by Bhante Gunaratana. Bhante Gunaratana, an esteemed Buddhist monk, shares his profound insights in this comprehensive guide to mindfulness meditation. The book is a gem, elegantly weaving simplicity with depth, making it both a joy to read and a treasure trove of wisdom. It's a must read for anyone seeking a deeper understanding of mindfulness and its multifaceted benefits. Let's embark on the journey Gunaratana lays out before us, starting with a clear delineation of what mindfulness is not. It's crucial to debunk prevalent misconceptions before building an accurate understanding of mindfulness. It's not about emptying the mind, achieving a state of eternal bliss, or escaping reality. Rather, it's about awakening to the reality of life, acknowledging it for what it truly is, rather than what we fear or fervently wish it could be. Now let's dive deeper into my top five takeaways from this enlightening book. One, mindfulness as a continuous journey. Mindfulness is not a quick fix or a temporary solution. It's a lifelong engagement, a journey of continual growth and self-discovery. It's about fully immersing oneself in the present moment, regardless of whether our experiences are pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Mindfulness encourages us to accept the transient nature of life, to live in the present moment without judgment or resistance. 2. Observation free from judgment. Mindfulness involves observing our thoughts, feelings and sensations without criticism or judgment. When faced with stress, unhappiness or any negative emotion, we learn to regard them as passing clouds in the sky observing them with a friendly curiosity rather than internalizing them. This detached observation allows us to better understand our emotions and respond to them thoughtfully rather than reacting impulsively. 3. Embracing the present experience. Our past is behind us, our future is yet to come, so if we must think, we should do so in the present. The only time anyone has to perceive, learn, grow or change is in the present moment. Mindfulness is the tool that keeps us grounded in the now, enabling us to fully engage with our current experience without getting lost in past regrets or future anxieties. 4. Fostering wisdom through mindfulness. The deeper and clearer our observation of our mind-body process becomes, the more we realize its impersonal, constantly changing, and fundamentally ego-free nature. This realization is freeing, propelling us towards wisdom and inner tranquility. It helps us see the world more clearly, free from our personal biases and preconceptions. 5. Self-discovery via mindfulness. As our mindfulness intensifies, we start to see ourselves more clearly. We begin to understand our patterns, triggers and habitual reactions. We become aware of our mental habits many of which have been operating under the radar for years. This self-awareness enables us to make more informed decisions about how we want to live and who we want to be. The beauty of mindfulness in plain English lies in its straightforwardness and practicality. It's a hands-on guide that demystifies mindfulness, making it accessible to everyone, regardless of their background or beliefs. It doesn't promise instant enlightenment or a magical cure-all, but it does offer a path to greater peace, understanding and compassion. On a personal note, this book has been instrumental in my understanding that mindfulness is not just a practice, but a lifestyle. It's not about mastering a technique. It's about cultivating a new relationship with existence itself. It's about living fully in each moment and meeting life with openness curiosity, and kindness. I invite you to share your insights on the book in the comments section. Let's build a community of thinkers who learn and grow collectively. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more insightful book summaries.
As we conclude, let's reflect on this profound quote from the book. Mindfulness gives you time. Time gives you choices. Choices skillfully made lead to freedom. Let's strive for that freedom, one mindful moment at a time. Until next time, keep reading, keep thinking, and keep growing. Thank you.